The Old Trafford crowd booed Jose Mourinho's men after Man United's nil-nil draw with Crystal Palace at Old Trafford this weekend. And you really couldn't blame them. You know, three wins from nine so far at Old Trafford this season for Man United. It's our worst start in the Premier League for 28 years. And Mourinho's side is really failing to show any sort of consistency needed to win the Premier League, which is ultimately what Man United fans want now. And for lots... Time is up for Mourinho. Sack him now. Get rid of him. He's an embarrassment to the club. It can't possibly get any worse. Just get somebody else in. That's what a lot of United fans are saying. But who would United get in? There are a lot of names getting thrown around. The main name is Zinedine Zidane. Won the Champions League three times at Real Madrid. Has proven himself on the biggest stage in arguably the most unforgiving job in football. But he inherited a fantastic squad at Real Madrid. The thing he did, though, was made the absolute most out of it. And he walked away from Real Madrid rather than getting sacked like most of their managers do. And as I said, was successful in the very hardest job in football. And United fans want somebody who can get the most out of this current squad. And Zidane showed that when he had Bale, Ronaldo, Modric, Benzema, Cruz, he got the most out of them with three Champions League wins. So you can't argue with his credentials in that regard. And then you've got Leonardo Jardim. Now, he's the ex-Monaco manager who managed to stop that free-spending PSG team from winning Ligue 1. He gave Monaco their first league title since the 1999-2000 season, when he won it in the 2016 season. And his Monaco team was sensational to watch. Spearheaded by Mbappé, I think they got to the Champions League semi-final. A really attack-minded football manager who plays exciting, exciting football. And that's what Man United fans are desperate to see at the club. But Jardim, you know, he was sacked with Monaco in the relegation zone. So Jardim was brilliant, but he also was a little bit tired towards the end of his reign at Monaco. Mauricio Pochettino, he's another name that gets thrown around. He's done a fantastic job at Spurs. He's a manager driven by his own principles and he sticks to them. He's a manager who has crafted a wonderful Spurs side by spending relatively little in comparison to his rivals but he hasn't ever won a trophy in his career. That's going to be the main thing that most people say against him. But as far as Pochettino goes, there isn't any amount of money, I don't think, that would see Daniel Levy let Pochettino leave Spurs at the moment. And I don't think Pochettino would leave Spurs in the lurch either. So as fantastic as I think he could be, he's a great man manager. Nobody can question that. You can question whether or not he's ready to make that step up to the elite level because he hasn't won anything. But I think that would be an unfair thing to say. I think he's absolutely ready. It's just I don't think Spurs would let him leave and I don't think he would leave Spurs in the lurch either. Not in mid-season. Another name, Antonio Conte, the ex-Chelsea manager, won the league with Chelsea, knows the Premier League inside out. But he turned down the Real Madrid job last month. If he turned down what I would say is the biggest job in club football, then what would bring him to Manchester United right now to follow... Jose Mourinho and what's going on at the club at the moment. I don't think it would, if he's, if he's ready to turn down the Real Madrid job, he'd be ready to turn down the United job as well. And another name that gets mentioned quite a few times is Eddie Howe. He's done a sensational job at Bournemouth. With little investment, he's created a fantastic feeling at Bournemouth, which hasn't disappeared. They're still competitive, having a fantastic season so far at Bournemouth. He did brilliantly to get Bournemouth from League Two up to the Premier League. But like Pochettino, two similar sorts of managers, I would say, in that they're, they're both fantastic man managers, both very driven by their own principles and ideologies. They're two names which are certainly getting mentioned. And of course, United could promote from within. Kieran McKenna and Michael Carrick, the two assistant managers for Manchester United right now, they would certainly be the biggest risk out of all of them, but potentially the biggest payout as well. Because McKenna, having managed under 18s, having managed Spurs under 18s, he knows the academy inside out. And so does Michael Carrick as well. He's been at the club for such a long time. Both of them would understand what it would mean to bring the young players through, like Tahith Chong, like Angel Gomez, like Mason Greenwood, who's tearing it up with the under-18s right now. That would certainly tie into the overall ideology of Manchester United as a football club, but it would certainly be the biggest risk. And right now, would United really be willing to take that risk? But aside from Kieran McKenna and Michael Carrick, why would any other manager want to take this Manchester United job right now? I don't think any smart manager would take the job now 
when they could tell the club to wait until the summer, when they could start afresh. Clean slate, new summer, new season, new players, my squad. Any manager who comes in now might be collateral damage for anything that Jose Mourinho leaves behind. It could be a hard into nothing. And I just don't see why any of those managers would take up this job right now when it could be available in the summer. Sure, maybe some would say, maybe the job's not going to be available in the summer. And that would be the reason why they would take it. And maybe that is the case. But I think any smart manager now would delay replacing Mourinho until the summer so they can have a fresh start at the club. However, that isn't the reason why I think sacking Mourinho now is the wrong decision for Manchester United. If United decided to act smartly in this situation, then they would keep Jose Mourinho until the end of the season. Now, I want to say a few things there. First of all, I 100% don't think that Jose Mourinho is going to be manager of Manchester United next season. I think what we've seen from this year is it's not going to work out. I 100% don't think Mourinho is the manager that's going to give us that Premier League title, going to give us that Champions League title and get us back up to that level that Manchester United want to be as a club. But I 100% do not think that sacking Mourinho right now would be the right and smart decision by Manchester United. It's about time that Man United started properly planning for the long term instead of working in two to three year cycles with managers. We saw it with Louis van Gaal, we're seeing it with Jose Mourinho, and let's not talk about what happened with David Moyes. What's our vision anymore as a club? What, what are our principles anymore as a club? We got in bed with the devil when we, when we signed Jose Mourinho as our manager. Two years down the line, Ed Woodward decided that, oh, you know what, we don't want to sign Maguire out of Ireland. We want you to promote from within, get better out of your squad, use the academy players. Our goals are obvious as Manchester United. We want to win the Premier League. We want to win the Champions League. But our method for getting there is all over the place. There is not an overall strategy or vision at the football club making sure that it's involved in every single decision that is made at United. And that is the biggest problem at this football club. And for me, if giving up on the rest of this season, if almost sacrificing the rest of this season is what gives United the opportunity to modernise, to plan, to strategize for the future, so that whoever does replace Jose Mourinho comes in and knows exactly what he can and can't do for specific reasons because it ties into the vision of the club and what the club wants to be, they're the grounds for success. If we don't do that and we sack Jose Mourinho now, we bring in Zidane tomorrow, who's to say anything would change? Two years down the line, I think we'd still be having the same conversation, but we'd be talking about Zidane instead. Because the foundations are not there right now at Manchester United, I don't think, for any manager to truly succeed. And I think that without any long-term planning, United are absolutely going to mirror Liverpool's decline of the 90s, the thing that we all fear the most. Liverpool have never won the Premier League. United obviously haven't won it since Fergie went. And I don't think that we ever will win it again, unless the club properly modernises and properly creates a long-term plan which ties into every decision which is made at this football club. You've seen how much of a mess our transfer windows have been over the last few years. It's because there's no vision driving it. They, they give the vision completely to the manager who is in charge, give him a hell of a load of money and say, go on then, you do what you want. We'll watch and see if it works. That doesn't work. A manager has to be brought in for a specific reason to tie into a vision of a football club. We all hate Liverpool. It's exactly what they've done with Jurgen Klopp. We all hate Man City. It's exactly what they've done with Pep Guardiola. We can see the success that's going on at our rivals. And United have just failed to do it. Since Sir Alex Ferguson went and David Gill went, United have rested on their laurels. And if giving up the rest of this season now means that that gives us a time to properly strategize, to properly plan, to properly modernize the football club and create the conditions for the next manager to come in, I think that is when the manager will be successful at Manchester United. And that is why I don't think that sacking Mourinho now solves any of United's problems. It might get us better towards the end of the season. We might finish comfortably in the top four. We might get to a Champions League quarterfinal. But I don't think two years down the line that we won't be having the same conversation. I think whoever comes in, if somebody came in tomorrow 
to replace Mourinho. I think two years, two, three years down the line, we're going to be saying the same things about that manager. And I want United to stop that cycle. After what has happened with David Moyes, after what has happened with Louis van Gaal, after what is happening with Jose Mourinho, United need to take a step back, to take time to plan and create a long-term vision for this club which drives the club forward. Without that, I genuinely don't think anything is ever going to change at Manchester United. I think we're going to be stuck in this cycle of the two to three years, replacing a manager, getting somebody else in, somebody fresh. Oh, he'll make it all better again. He won't. And I think now, for me, is the time to take that time to plan. If that means giving up the rest of this season, I think that would be a smarter decision by Manchester United. But that's my opinion. Now, I know lots of you are going to disagree with me here. So let me know what you think in the comments below. But as I said, if sacrificing the rest of this year gives United an extra six months to plan properly for the next manager to come in in the summer, I think that's going to leave United in a much stronger position than we have ever been in since Fergie retired.